Hi everyone, it's James here from Body Set at Old Street. To get ready for returning to the gym, we're going to go through two compound movements today, the back squat and the deadlift. Compound movements are movements that engage a multitude of muscle groups and joints and therefore should be the cornerstone of every successful gym program. Although everybody's form will be slightly different for these movements, there are some key consistent variables that we want to address to ensure that you get a safe return to the gym. So for the back squat, we're going to focus on two things, what your feet are doing and where the bar is on your back. Now, these things are going to be determined by a variety of factors, such as what feels natural, what feels comfortable, the position of your hips, a variety of things. But the key things we're going to keep in mind is that your heels remain in contact with the ground throughout the movement of the squat and that the bar position is focused so that at the very bottom of the squat, the bar is in line with your heels. Now what that will mean is if you're a, if you're a squatter who leans forward a bit, the bar will be further down your back, whereas if you're more of an upright squatter, the bar will be higher towards your neck. When performing the squat, you're going to take a breath just before you go down. You're going to hold that breath and then breathe out as you come up towards the top. Like so. Moving on to the deadlift now, and whilst we're going to keep our feet similar to the squats with our heels planted on the ground, we're going to focus on our hand position and hip movement through this. Now, hand position can be either with both hands over the bar or with one hand underneath the bar, depending on preference. And hip position wants to be like a pivot, so as you go down, your hips go back, keeping your back nice and straight, and then as you lift back up, your hips push forward, again, keeping the back nice and straight. This will, this will allow you to engage your hamstrings and glutes more while keeping your back in a good position. So, we approach the bar. Your feet, if you imagine where your shoelaces would be typically, the bar is gonna cut across there. Now, we're gonna go for traditional position, so your hands are on the outside of your legs. One hand under, one hand under, one hand over. You take a breath just before you lift and then you relax the breath on the way back down. 